Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to auto archive emotes in Outlook. Before we start, hurry up and check out Lee's offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now, you might be looking for a way to automatically archive your emotes in Outlook. Now, we all know that since we use Outlook or email here in a daily basis, it can easily fill up and may contain a lot of emails that you may necessarily not need or you don't need to see in an everyday basis. So in this case, in order for you to auto archive out or emails here in Outlook is we need to change or uh, basically uh, do a, to a few changes on our settings. So at the top left of your screen, you have file, go ahead and click on it. And from here, you wanna go and choose option at the left side. Now from here at the left side, you want to go, uh, sorry, in the pop-up here, you want to go to the advanced section. And from here, you want to go and look for auto archive. But if you do see it, just click on auto archive settings. Now from here, you now have the option to basically enable auto archive. Now by default, this is going to be disabled. So if you click on the run auto archive every, in this case, it will now be on. Now the great thing about this one is you can determine how many days or the interval of the auto archive. Like for example, for this setup, the auto archive will run every 14 days. Now if you want to increase or decrease this, you go and just type it in or use the address at the right side here. Now you can also specify a few things on what or what will happen during the archive. Like for example, if you want to prompt before archive runs, like for example, it will notify you, hey, we're going to start archiving your email here. So yeah, if you want to enable that. And also, if you want to change a few things, like for example, if you want to delete expired items like email folders uh, uh, only, by the way, and also if you want to archive or delete all items. So, you know, in this case, you have uh, the option to either move them to an old item or move all items to a specific folder here or delete them permanently. But in this case, if you want to apply this, uh, the settings to all folders now, just click on the uh, following button here that says apply settings to all folders now. Now, also you have the option to clean out items older than the following. So in this case, it could also specify how old the item is going to be when you archive them. Now you could specify the location. And again, if you want to delete it, just choose the delete option and apply them to the apply it immediately in your folder here. If you uh, if you want to click on the apply these settings to all folders now. But yeah, once you've set up all the settings that you want to apply to your setting here for auto archive, just click on OK, click on OK, and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.